this is our wall of manga and there's some Naruto to go along with our Naruto video. Hey guys, so for October movies, I usually do something scary. This year, there's nothing really new out, so I decided to do something a little different, and I decided to do um, manga, which is, there's a lot of it out there on, uh, well, I'm going to show you what's on Hulu. This happens to be the offerings on Hulu, so we've got Naruto, or Naru Naruto Shippuden, Naruto, Death Note, um, Higurashi, there's a whole bunch on here. We are going to specifically go to Naruto because our food craft for this video is going to be ramen. Um, so we have a whole, I've showed you before, we have a whole wall of graphic novels, I'm sorry, not graphic novels, manga, but we also have a few, um, we're starting to beef up our, our anime and manga collection of videos as well. So if you don't have Hulu or the streaming service, that is okay. You can also get them from the library. Going with our Naruto themed food craft, we're going to be making barbecue ramen noodles. Uh, pretty easy. You just have the obviously the ramen, the water, which is not boiling yet, but will be, and some barbecue sauce, whichever you happen to have around the house, or whatever you particularly like. I have obviously sweet baby rays. Um, you want to do a half a cup of the barbecue sauce. I'm making a double batch, so I'm going to use a whole cup. So let's get this water boiling. So as we're waiting for the water to boil, it's almost ready. I just wanted to give a note that you can cook ramen in the microwave. You still have to put water in it. I just wanted to um, throw that out there. All right, so here you go. Ramen cooking. I put mine on for three minutes to cook it up. Now you can finish your ramen in a couple of different ways. I oh I like mine less soupy. So I always cook my ramen plain first and then I dump it out and then add the flavor packets and whatever else we're adding to it. You can do that. You can also add your flavor packets now and your barbecue sauce. It's totally up to you. I'm going to wait until the end to do mine. Here's the ramen all cooked. There's nothing in it. So I'm going to put the two flavor packets in and the cup of barbecue sauce. That is your finished ramen. It's got the flavor packets and the barbecue sauce. Now, you could also get super fancy with your ramen and you can add in some fresh vegetables and I know egg is a big um, ingredient, so you can to totally add whatever you want to your base ramen. Enjoy! Okay, guys, so I just had the ramen that we just made and here's my thoughts. It was really good, but I don't think you need that much uh, barbecue sauce. So I wouldn't even start, if you're doing a single a pack, I wouldn't start with a half a cup. I'd probably start with like a quarter or just like a two, couple of squeezes in. Um, and if you're doing a double, do not use a whole cup of barbecue sauce. That was a lot of barbecue sauce. It was very salty. Tasted really good, but it was a little, just a little too much. Um, but so I would, uh, I would definitely play around with your with your amounts of barbecue sauce um, if you guys are going to try that out. But otherwise, it, tastes, it did actually give it an interesting, a, a new flavor to try with the, with the ramen. 